morning, everybody. It's Colby Massey again, and um, today is uh, another lesson. Today we're going to learn a new song using the chords that I've taught you in the past couple weeks. And um, last week we covered a lot of major chords, and then this week we're going to learn a couple minor chords. And um, now we're going to work on trying to combine the two major chords and minor chords. So um, today's song is uh, going to use one of the minor chords, and then a few of the chords we learned last week, which um, I think it's a C, G, and a D chord. And um, you're not going to run into a lot of songs that use more minor chords than major chords. So that's always going to be the case. So um, that's why there's only one minor chord in this song. But the song, it's the song we're going to learn today. And it's a pretty popular song. And I had a request for it, so I figured I would try to learn it. And I think I got it. And it's on um, Hello by Adele on acoustic guitar. And I know it's typically played on a piano, but um, I think I figured out how it's done. I've watched a couple of videos, and I think I've seen some other people play it on guitar as well. And I kind of picked up on what they were doing. But anyway, let's get started. Um, the chords you're going to need to know are an E minor. Okay, well... First, you're going to, if you have a capo, you're going to want to put it on your first fret, okay? And then, like I said, you're going to start with an E minor chord, which is the middle and ring finger, or your first and middle finger, however is comfortable, on the fifth and fourth string of the second fret, okay? And with the capo, this now becomes your second fret. So the capo becomes the new end of the guitar, and then your frets are one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. But, um, so E minor, okay? Then you're gonna need a G chord, which is one of the major chords we covered, D, and a C. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to play this song because if you, um, the transitions can be kind of tricky for some beginners, so I'm gonna teach you two ways to play this song, but I would recommend learning it the first way I'm gonna show you. So, the start of the song, and the rhythm kind of is, you kind of do it yourself depending on how fast and how the speed of the song you want. So, but, the it's kind of a slow song, so keep that in mind. But what you're doing is going E minor to G, D, C, okay? So you're doing a quick transition from E minor to G, and then you hit that G one more time, and then a quick transition from D to C. And it's, hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all it's years you'd like to me. And you can change the rhythm however you want, like I said, depending on the speed that you want for the song. So you can You can do however you want. You're the artist, you're the guitar player, so you play around with it how you want to play with it, okay? So that's it. E minor, G. D, C, okay? And that's your verses. Now the chorus, use the same chords, but it changes the order a bit. So for the chorus, where it's hello from the outside, it's E minor to C to G to D, okay? Hello from the outside. I can see that I tried. Okay? E minor, C. You're doing those quick transitions again. So E minor, C, C again, G, D. Okay? And that's your chorus. Now, the easy way that I was going to show you to play this song that on. Um, like I said, I don't recommend you trying this way, but if you just really want to play the song and, you know, it's just something you really want to do and maybe play for a group of people and you want it to sound good and you want the easiest way possible, 
which this very well might not be the easiest way for you. You know, you may feel more comfortable playing it the way I just showed you using, you know, no shortcuts. But here is a shortcut way to play this song. And what you do is you go ahead and you put your ring and pinky on the bottom two strings of the third fret. Okay, like you would for a G chord. But you're going to use your pointer and middle finger and make an E minor while still holding those bottom two strings. Okay? So then all you got to do is go. Okay? So that way all you're doing the whole song for, for most of the song is rotating these two fingers around. Alright? So you would keep your two fingers on the bottom two strings and then play your E minor up here with these two fingers. And then you just move those two fingers over to make the G chord. Okay? And then to make the D chord, all you do is take these two fingers down and leave your ring finger on that second string and take your pinky off. So you're doing this right here. Okay? And then you're making your D chord. So throughout the whole song, your ring finger pretty much is never leaving that second string on the third fret. The only time your pinky does is for a D chord. So. Okay. And now what we're going to learn is a way to play a C chord. And I think I showed you in a past video, but um, I'll show you again. And it's a C add nine. And uh, what I'll do is I'll play the verse using the new way that I'm going to teach you and then play the verse using the first way I taught you and you'll be able to tell that there's not that much of a difference so if you decide to play either or you're still going to know what you're playing it's still going to sound good all right so the C at nine you put your pinky back down on that first string third fret and then you take these two fingers and you do like you would a G chord you just come down so now you come down a string, so now your middle finger is on the 3rd fret 5th string, and your 1st finger is on the 2nd the fret 4th string, okay? And you still use the tip of your middle finger here to mute that 6th string like you would if you were playing a normal C. And if you notice, you got two fingers here on a normal C, alright? So all you're lacking on the C at 9, excuse me, is um this finger down here on the first fret second string so you're pretty much making majority of a C chord all you're doing is just instead of putting a first finger down on the second string you're doing your second string down here along with the first string like you would for a G chord and just playing the top two notes in a C chord which is still a C note for your bass note and then majority of the C chord. So that's just an easier way to play a C chord which is called a C add 9. And um, you'll see this in a lot of other songs that require you know a transition from G to C because all you do is take the G chord and move your top two fingers down a string and that's G to C. Okay so playing the whole verse using that way is this. Okay. Now, now I'm going to play it the first way I taught you. Okay. So you see there's not that big of a difference. So you can choose either way and still play this song and make it sound good. And um, that's basically it. And same thing with the chorus, with the new way I'm showing you how to figure out the chords, all you do is just go E to C, G, D, alright? So hello from the outside, da 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 da, alright? So that's basically it. Um, just, you know, like I said, choose whichever way you want to do, whichever is comfortable for you, the original open chord way or the second way I showed you, which may make things a little simpler. It could make things more complicated. It's up to you. 
And as far as the rhythm, like I said, just um, it all depends on the speed of the song that you're wanting, you know, like how you want it to sound. You know, you're the guitar player, you're the artist. I've heard several covers of this song, and um, a lot of them are played differently every time. So it's completely up to you. Um, but I hope this video helped. And to you who requested it, I, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it works for you. Um, if you would, like, subscribe, comment, share my videos. Let me hear something from you. Let me know how I'm doing. And um, just keep playing, keep practicing, and I'll see y'all along the way. Y'all take it easy, okay?